Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, back again with another review. I haven't did one in a while, but pretty excited for this one. Um, so far, it's not really because it didn't came in its original packaging. It came in the Amazon frustration free packaging, but I expected it from Amazon. But even though it came in its original packaging or this Amazon packaging doesn't really matter, throw the box away anyways. But Scrounger is pretty much a lever action with slam fire blaster which is pretty much a sling fire 2.0 it gets more tactical but anyways well for ado let's get this thing out of the box all right so what's included inside is the blaster itself the stop two shot blaster two mags instructions barrel mag holder light and darts all right so after getting the scavenger out of the package and fully assembled let's take a look at this thing it's a lot of stuff to go over by the way but starting up with the front there is this cool barrel which attaches on to an end strike barrel up so you can actually put a different barrel on or you can put this barrel on two different blasters if you guys so choose and the barrel does include in inside is very cool looking it's, it's it's pretty hollow you know it's pretty big so your darts will um not have trouble or decrease fps they do have these little tiny holes in here so it kind of looks like somebody shot through them or something but it just simply attaches to the front of the blaster very simple and up top is a sight but also a mag holder so it comes with two 12 round stick mags so one i have in the blaster right now and one can actually be stored here on the side, but when you go to pull it out, it's pretty easily, but it's very easy to put back in. It's not like if you're gonna tip the blaster over, that's gonna fall out. So it is in there pretty good. So yeah, but when you take it out to reload, it should be pretty quick. And this is supposed to be a sight. It doesn't have any, let me just remove this. Jesus Christ. Took a little bit of force, but <laughs> yeah, here's the uh, sight. Um, it's not really it's hollow on this side but on the other side there is a little aimer a little aiming thing so you guess you can aim with this so yeah it's pretty cool and that attaches on the tactical round the top just like this so it just goes over like this and it locks in there pretty good so it took me a little force so that's why i dropped it but yeah and on the underneath is the light or laser so take this thing out Wow, it takes a little bit of force, so yep, but here is the light, so the light comes um with you know you have to put three AAA batteries in here, so you just take out this Phillips head screwdriver and put on um three AAA batteries, and this is the light that you're expecting um expected to be kind of blind, so as you can see, it's not very. It's not too much of a bright light, but mine is surprisingly very bright for some reason. I guess I got the good batteries, but wow. Took it off uh, so hard that it dropped off my little two-shot jolt. But that just um, goes on the underneath. I'm not trying to flip you off, by the way, guys. But yep, it just goes on the underneath just like that. Boom. And then when you want to turn it on, you just turn it on with that switch. So yeah. And speaking of the stock, let's go back to the stock. So the stock also holds the two-shot blaster, which kind of just clips on pretty easily. If you can get it on correctly, by the way. This thing, it's a... Come on, get in there. There you go. And there you go. Now you have an extra two-shot blaster. And this stock is obviously removable. So you want to remove the stock. You totally can. So this stock attachment point is a little bit different. So this is actually upside down because stock usually is supposed to be like this. But since this thing is upside down, the stock goes like this. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. That's something to uh, note. And um, obviously when you run out of ammo, you know, you just grab your little two shot out. And boom, you have extra two shot. It's a front loader. And the way you prime this one is just like a jolt. So you load two shots. You prime it down, pull one time, prime down again, pull another time. And when you're done, you just simply store it 
Oops. There you go. Simply clicks in. And to take out the magazine, you have to prime the blaster, you know, back or the lever. So after you prime the lever, it puts your hand on the magazine release. The magazine release is on both sides, lefties and righties, so ambidextrous. Flammy bros. But yeah, the magazine may be a little weird because if you're here, you can't reach it. But it's not a big deal, just a prime the blaster like this. And then it puts your, you know, finger right next to the magazine release, allowing you to take out the mag pretty easily. And we'll load it and resume and fire. And this thing has slam fire, which I mentioned earlier. So right now, as you can see, there's a switch. So that switch right now is in normal firing. So every time you, you know, pull the lever action back, pull the lever action back, you fire. But if you switch it to technically the slam fire mode, which now is on the slam fire mode, and every time you prime the blaster back, the trigger is automatically pressed because slam fire, you're supposed to hold down the trigger and prime the blaster. But since this is a lever action, I don't know how you're supposed to keep the trigger and pull down the lever action at the same time. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about this slam fire on the scavenger as well, just like this. So every time it is pulled back um, to the regular position, the trigger is automatically pulled in the full auto. But first, obviously, got to test out with semi or normal firing to be in this case. And there is the access door right there. So to get to there, you have to find the blaster. And then you kind of open up your access door so you can clear any chance of malfunctions that you guys would like. And this blaster also has a little carrying handle so you can carry the blaster. So yeah. And overall, I mean, it's pretty much a tactical sling fire. The sling fire is the kind of like the older brother of this thing. So yeah, without further ado, that's all about this uh, review. Now let's get to the firing test and see how the scavenger performs. So let's get to the firing test. First, starting off with normal firing. And now some slam fire. Who says you're ever out of ammo? Tactical jolt. All right, so as you guys can see, that was the firing test of the Nerf Zombie Strike Scavenger. Or you can say his full name, Nerf Zombie Strike Survival System Scavenger. So yeah, overall, this thing, yeah, I knew I was going to love the Scavenger when I like, first ordered it. So yeah, I mean, the fact that it comes with two mags and you have a little extra jolt. So if you run out of ammo, you know, if you have... You know, two more zombies, just take this out, bop, bop, you're done. So to just simply store it. Boom, just like that. So yeah. And to note, there is a unjamming button, which is um, located right here. So after you prime the blaster, obviously you can't prime it again. I almost forgot to mention it because it was so small and it's not noticeable. But once you press it, it does allow you to prime the blaster again if I can even do it Come on. very hard to do because it's so dang small so it's hard to reach but there you go it allows you to prime the blaster back and open up clear any jams malfunctions and then resume so yeah and the trigger pull is surprisingly smooth but since it's, it is a lever action it does get a little bit tiring on your hand after priming it a lot but it sure is a lot of fun to use, so.
Yeah, overall, the scavenger actually surprises me, and this light actually surprises me. I don't know if it's because of the triple A's I use. I'm not trying to blind y'all, but Jesus Christ. Mine, for some reason, is real bright. I don't know if Coop 772 got a lemon or not, but I don't know. Mine, for some reason, is really, really bright. So, yeah. And the magazine release is not that big of a deal. Before I got it, like, it was a little weird because my hand is right here and I have to use my off hand. But after priming the blaster back and hitting the magazine release right there, it's obviously not a big of a deal. So, yeah, overall, the scavenger is just like I expected. I love this thing. So, yeah, I mean, there's sling mouse, which is one right there. But I'm not sure why you would want to use sling mouse on this blaster. It'll be pretty heavy to carry something like this. So, yeah, overall, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty much a um, Flame Fire 2.0, just more tactical, and it comes with way more attachment than what the original Sling Fire came with. So, yeah, overall, I like the fact that it has this little switch here to go um, Slam Fire, technically. Well, it's not really Slam Fire because you're not holding down the trigger and, you know, priming the blaster at the same time, but. It's doing one for you, pulling the trigger, because there's no possible way to prime this thing while pulling the trigger. It's impossible. So, yeah, overall, I mean, this thing is totally amazing. I love this thing. And these magazines look pretty cool. Has a little zombie strike deco on there. Pretty standard for the zombie strike series. So, yeah, if you're going to get this blaster. Three AAAs for this light, if you want to use it or not. It doesn't really matter. Blaster still operates fine without the light. You don't technically need the light, but yeah, you can buy better lights though. Even though this one is pretty bright, but I, I just think it looks cool. It looks like a like a screwdriver handle. That is a light. Pretty impressive on how somebody managed to turn a screwdriver handle into a light or flashlight in this case. Hmm. Very interesting, but. <laughs> Yeah, overall, that's all about my review of the Nerf uh, Zombie Strike Scavenger. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I haven't been back in a while. Just been busy with school a lot lately, so not going to be able to post often. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you guys, um, you know, watch until the end. So you can make an educated purchase decision on your own. If you'd like to purchase a scavenger, I will always, of course, leave the link in the description down below of um, where you guys can purchase it. So yeah, overall, that's all about this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my content and subscribing. So yeah, really appreciate that. So yeah, without further ado, it's never for nothing. Stay tactical. Peace.